it's Miranda, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, hey, for the first time, subscribe, become a member of the Slash Squad. Here I review products you won't feel guilty buying and do looks you can actually recreate at home. Today I'm going to have kind of a mini brand review of the brand Model Zone. Now this is not like a brand new brand on the market. Um, it's actually been around for a little bit, but it's becoming more popular in the US now because they just landed at Ulta Beauty. So they sent me some of their goodies to try and I definitely have some opinions on them. There were some out of the park hits and there were some like down in the dump misses. Why don't we start on a positive note? So one of the um, products that they sent me was the Vintage Rose Palette. And I mean, look at this packaging, the hollow label dying over it. So there are 10 shades inside. And though it's called Vintage Rose, um, I don't find it to be incredibly over the top, like rose gold themed. Like if you think of Naked 3, it's not going to be like that. And just a side note, the packaging is super slim, really great for travel. You get a full-size mirror on the inside, so that is definitely a plus. Now, as far as the shades go, I'm actually very impressed with the range of shades as well as the range of finishes. Y'all know, let me hear it. I love my mattes, gotta have my mattes. So they definitely gave you a very good balance between mattes and shimmers so that you can really create a multi-dimensional look. Now, I don't know if you can see this from far out, so I'll zoom in a little bit here, but you can see there's a lot of kickback on this palette, which is weird because the shades are pretty soft. They blend really well when you're applying them, but let me tell you, you're getting a lot of dust in the palette itself and the shades are pigmented so what does pigmented dust translate to fallout so while i experience definitely more kickback um, in the palette than i do fallout on the face when you do get it especially with the darker shades it's a little bit hard to remove but aside from that i mean i'm actually really enjoying this palette the texture of the shades remind me of too faced they're very soft very easy to blend and they have great pigmentation to them i got to say within this palette you get such a great range where you can do a really simple everyday eye especially with the mattes here um, pretty neutral or you can go super dramatic super smoky with these dark sultry shades this palette is on the same level as a lot of high-end brands and this costs $17.99 at Ulta Beauty I will link it below I think it's definitely worth looking at and at least swatching in store to see if you would get any use out of it because I've definitely been reaching for it a lot since they sent it to me um, whether I want to go a little bit crazy crazy with the eyes or I want to do something more neutral and I will zoom into my look I did my look today with the eyeshadows as well and uh, don't mind the liner let's get into that next so let's talk a little bit about this liner that we just saw on the eye this is called the eye definer liquid liner from models own and the first thing I was like oh my god this pot is like really big this is like double the size of the other liners that I have that kind of look like this this is 0.17 fluid ounces though and we do have a felt tip applicator on this wand. This is not only just like a felt tip liner, but it is really freaking firm. It does not have any flexibility whatsoever, which means you get some skipping when you're putting it on the eyelid. It is not moving with your eyelid. It is very rigid, so I did find myself having to actually tug on my eye to get a smooth line. So that was the first thing. Second thing is, you know, I feel like it's a little bit inevitable that you're going to need to even out liquid liner. It happens every time. There's no way around it. Um, but I found that as I was evening the liquid liner out with this, and as, you know, the layers were kind of overlapping with each other, it started to get like crunchy. It didn't feel like it was drying very comfortably, especially as I was laying it and kind of like building it up. And I feel like that's a pretty normal thing, especially when you're doing a cat eye. You kind of build up to the intensity that you want. Um, but it started to look a little flaky. Was not my jam. So this was definitely a miss for me from Model Zone. Let's uh, move on to the other super fail miss for me just because I keep looking at myself in the viewfinder and I'm like, oh, I need to explain myself. So this is the Lix Matte Liquid Lipstick and this is the shade Eucalyptus Pink, which I thought would be super pretty for more of a sultry lip but still summery. But boy, did I not like this. I was really excited when I was putting it on. It felt very creamy. It has like this really nice peppermint smell, but it went on patchy AF. I mean, I was trying everything to get this to look opaque, whether it be layering or even kind of blotting and trying to smooth it out that way, and nothing was working. The more I layered, the more patchy it looked, um, the more I mushed together my lips, the more patchy it looked, and even if I went in a really, really thin layer, it would always end up 
just darker towards the edges of my lips. But even as I'm talking right now, and it's been maybe like 30 minutes since I've put it on, it's just like fading really weird. Like there's almost no color on the middle of my lips, and then it's darker right here. I don't know. I was just really sad because this is one of the ones that I was really looking forward to because I love my matte liquid lipsticks. I will say that it's comfortable to wear. It's very lightweight, um, but I don't see the point of that if it doesn't look good. <laughs> All right, let's talk about another good product. Now, this is the model's own Sculpt and Glow Highlighting Powder, and this particularly is in Peach Pearl, and there you go, you can kind of see that peachiness. It's what I'm wearing today, and oh my God, I love it, especially how it looks on camera. I mean, it is one of those, you know, Instagram highlights that you really need hashtag no filter for. I feel like it's one of those highlights where you're not, because it's powder, you run the risk of it looking a little bit chalky or a little bit too like glittery and you definitely do have like visible sparkle in it but they're not big sparkles they're very small fine shimmer particles so you end up with very much more of like a glowy sheeny look rather than like a kid sparkly highlight as you can see I'm slaying the game with my highlight today you can probably see it from Mars very happy with this one and like I said this is in peach pearl I believe they have some other shades the next one I want to pick up um, is like more of a champagne color um, but this one is really nice for summer because you do kind of have that rosiness and it works really well with blush so this gorgeous highlighter is $11.99 at Ulta Beauty I check the link below if you want to pick it up this one I definitely think if you are a highlight fiend like I am you're gonna want this let's end on on a high note so this is the last product that I've been trying from models own and this is their flawless concealer palette for having four shades of concealer you do have very slim and handy packaging with a mirror inside so really great for on the go and this is specifically the natural shade selection so this was perfect for me in fact this shade right here which is the bottom left um, is like literally my skin color <laughs> I was putting it on and I'm like, it does not look like I even have makeup on, it's just fixing things. So you do get the four shades that range in tone, so that way if you don't have like the perfect shade like I got, you can mix them around and kind of custom create your own color. Now I really like the formula on this concealer. It's very creamy and I would say it's, you know, on the thicker side, so you're going to get full coverage. But the shade that matches me perfectly, I've put that on my problem areas, just kind of spot concealing, and then gone without foundation and it looks amazing. In fact, today I only have the concealer on and then BB cream and this is what my face looked like before I put on makeup today got a lot of breakouts and this is what it looks like after <laughs> Because they are thick, they're creamy, you want to work in thinner layers. You're also going to want to set it with powder. The first time I used this, I was like, okay, I look great. Did not set it with powder, and it did not last very long on me. But then I used the City Color Banana Powder on it, and I just kind of, you know, spot set it, and everything was good to go, and my blemishes were covered for, like, seven-ish hours. And I'm usually not the hugest fan of concealer palettes, but just this one is so convenient, and the texture is great, so I really appreciated that. This is also $11. 99 at Ulta Beauty. So those were just some of the products that Models Own has brought to the U.S. via Ulta Beauty. Previously, I think they were in Forever 21 for a little bit, but they were predominantly a U.K. brand. So I'm really excited that we have another brand to play with on the drugstore level in terms of prices. If you like this mini brand review, hit the thumbs up button. And if there are other brands that you want me to explore, leave them in the comments below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. If you've already done that, high five, hit the bell button so you know every time a new video goes live. I make new videos every week and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!